Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the vlog and a very happy Sunday to you all. Well, actually, you might be watching this video on any day of the week. It comes out on a Sunday, but it might not be Sunday. So happy whatever day it is where you are. I have been on the biggest like vlog streak at the moment and i'm actually like really enjoying it i have to say and i'm just going to take this moment i did say at the end of my last video and i never usually do this but just recently i looked at my youtube stats and 70 percent of you guys that watch my youtube videos don't subscribe to my channel and i know it's really annoying to say please subscribe please like this video and please follow me on instagram but please do because it actually really does help and if you did do it i would appreciate it so much like i can't even explain how much Anyway, on to today's video. I'm actually starting this vlog in a very strange like day of the week. It is actually currently Thursday and I usually start my vlogs on a Monday, like mostly, but my week's just been like pretty, well it hasn't been boring. I've basically been sorting out my wardrobe, which I was actually going to vlog with you, but it just got way too out of hand and it's just been very messy. I'll show you the state of my like corridor in a moment um but in my last vlog i mentioned to you guys that i really want to revamp my wardrobe and someone actually left a comment on my last video and said that i often say the pieces in my wardrobe are timeless and we're gonna have them forever and that's true lots of the new pieces that i've shown you well not even the new pieces but lots of pieces from my wardrobe like like my long black duster coat my brown duster coat my mum jeans like shackets like a lot of those things are timeless and they're not going anywhere however i am an absolute clothes hoarder and i hate to admit it because i've always thought i'm not that person but i really am and i keep all of these clothes like some of them from like 10 years ago that i've even moved house and kept them with me and i just keep them and think you know that would be nice to like wear around the house or like you know one day i might need that sparkly roll neck top like <laughs> you're never gonna wear it again and I just need to get rid of it. So this week I've just been on a mission to clear everything out, declutter my life because my brain at the moment feels really cluttered and I just think it would like really help and it would also make me really excited for the new season and just to kind of get excited about putting outfits together again. To be honest, most of the things are going to charity and then any of the more expensive things, I've sold a little bit already on Depop. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more and then with that money, I'm just gonna basically like reinvest it into my wardrobe and just get some new in pieces that I think are, as I say, really timeless and things that I know I'm really gonna wear, not just like this coming season, but hopefully for years and years to come as well. So keeping that in mind, this week, I've obviously been doing some shopping. First up, we have Farfetch, and then we have, I think, Mango, and other stories, Cos, Zara, and Weekday. So it's gonna be one hell of a haul. Let's start off with Farfetch. Now, this is the first time of 2020 that I'm working with them. And I have to say, and I say this, I, I mean, I don't even wanna say it because I feel like I'm a broken record, but it's just so true. I can't tell you how many times a day I get asked for a Farfetch discount code and I haven't had one now since I think it's been since December and honestly you have not stopped asking me for it so you'll all be so happy to know guys I have a Farfetch discount code it gets you 10% off on their website there are some brand exclusions um, but most of my favourites are included. I always say this. I'll leave it on screen. I'm also going to leave it in the description box down below. I feel like I don't even really need to give Farfetch much of an introduction anymore because I think you guys shop with them just as much as I do, which <laughs> is a lot. But they basically are the place to shop designer online and they have so many different brands on their website. So I'm going to show you the pieces that I picked up this week. Starting off first of all with this brand, which honestly I have seen everywhere. And I'm going to hold my hands up and say I have been influenced by Instagram to like invest in this brand because everyone is wearing it. And I think it's extremely cool. So this is what the brand is called. And I have to say, I originally thought it was called Annie Bing, but that is because I'm dyslexic. I soon realized it's actually, I think it's Anine Bing. Um, I might be saying that wrong though, so please let me know. But I actually tried to get hold of a few pieces from her brand a few months ago, and it was just sold out everywhere. But Farfetch actually have like a really good selection of things um, from her brand. And they have a lot of sizes in stock as well, which I mean, I haven't seen anywhere else. So the first thing I picked up is this grey hoodie. Well, it's actually a zip hoodie. So you have obviously the logo just on the side. But I think something I just want to tell you guys about this is the quality is so good. Like, honestly, you can just tell it's so well made. I actually wore this out the other day for lunch with a brown coat and I thought it looked really cool. 
um i picked this up by the way just to like tell you for sizing i picked this up in a size small and i mean you'll probably see me in a cutaway um it is like quite an oversized fit so if you're in between sizes i would definitely definitely recommend sizing down um but yeah so that's the first thing i picked up from her but i did actually pick up like a lot of things from my far fetch haul is actually from Anine Bing. So the next thing I picked up was this blue like navy jumper. And then the um branding on the front is actually in this like toweling material. I don't know if you can see that. So once again it says um Anine Bing and then it says sport. I mean you guys can all read that I'm sure. I picked this up because I think I read um online that this was actually really big size in. So I think I also picked this up in a size small. Um, and once again, I'm sure you're seeing in a cutaway how it fits. And with both the items, I love how it fits. I think it looks so good. Um, and like the grey hoodie, it's such good quality. Um, I really feel like I'm going to get more pieces from her because, yeah, I love it. I also picked up a pair of sunglasses. So she doesn't just do like sportswear, by the way. There's like blazers, accessories, bags, um... But yeah, I will leave the link down below so you can go and check her out on Farfetch. And then inside, it actually is so like reasonably priced as well. God, that was a bit of a mouthful. It's really reasonably priced. Um, and I think everything, um, like even just like the packaging of this and everything is just gorgeous. So I picked up these sunglasses and I didn't actually realise they were going to be as small as they are. I thought they were going to be a little bit of a bigger cat eye. They've just got the like AB branding on the side there. I'm going to show you them on because I do actually quite like them. I'm not going to take the sticker off for the minute, although I am keeping them. Um, but they are quite small on my head and I feel like maybe it's because I've got a big head. But this is how they look like on. What do we think? Do we think like then? I literally can't even see the screen. Like, can you see me? I hope you can see me. Um, yeah, what do we think? They were, as I say, really reasonably priced. And I just think they'll be really cool for spring. And I also think they just look really good. They're quite tight, by the way. I just think they look good just like sat on your head like that. Which obviously is absolutely not how you're meant to wear sunglasses. Um, but yeah, you guys will have to tell me what you think of those. I kind of like them. So those are all the pieces that I picked up from Anine Bing. And then the next thing I got from Farfetch, by the way, I'm sorry that I've like tried this stuff on and opened it already. I'm just so guilty of doing that. I can't wait. Like I have to see things when they first turn up. So it is a blazer. I mean, <laughs> you guys know how much I love a blazer. However, this is almost like between a coat and a blazer, which is why I picked it up because I think it's going to be a really good transitional piece going into spring. You know, like when it's sort of too hot to wear a coat, too cold to wear just a small jacket i think this would be great because it's a little bit thicker now this is actually from sandro and this is my first ever piece i have from them and i definitely know it's not going to be my last because i'm so impressed with the quality however what i need your guys opinion on is is it too big for me so i picked it up in a size 40 and i feel like i should have got it in a 38 or maybe even a 36 I love things to be oversized. I mean, hopefully you're seeing me in a cutaway and seeing how it fits me. I love things to be oversized, but I feel like maybe the shoulders are a little bit too dropped. And there's oversized and then there's looking ridiculous. And do you think it looks a bit ridiculous? You need to let me know. And because I can't actually make my mind up myself, I, I really love it. But I just can't make my mind up if it's too big. But you need to be honest and tell me the truth. And I don't mind if you do tell me to return it because Farfetch do honestly have the easiest return system and I will actually just like get it again because yeah, I, I know I'm gonna wear this so much in the coming like season. And then the last thing I picked up from Farfetch, I'm just checking that, oh no, it's over here. So, oh, actually a pair of shoes. And I've had my eye on these shoes for ages. It was actually one of my friends um, who is extremely cool. And she said to me a while ago, like, you know, you should really get yourself like a pair of Rick Owens because I always wear Converse, and I still am always going to wear my Converse, like, I'm, I'm a Converse girl through and through, but these are, like, a Converse, but a really cool version, so these are the Rick Owen boots, trainers kind of vibe, I've actually seen them on, like, not that many people, which is why I like them, because I feel like they're something not everyone knows about, Although I'm telling all you guys and I don't mind if you get them like we're all friends here. But the reason I never got them before is because I was like, well, they basically are a Converse. Like, why would you kind of like invest in these when Converse are like half the price? And then I tried a pair on and they just feel and look so good. And then like I suddenly understood the hype. And 
the fact that I wear my Converse so much means I know that I'm going to wear these so much as well, especially going into summer. Like, even with a pair of shorts, they look really good with, like, long trousers. They look good styled so many different ways, even with, like, a pair of mum jeans. And I just think they're sick. So, they have this big zip up the sides. They're actually really easy to put on and off because you don't have to undo all the laces and things. They come up a lot higher than Converse do. And then they have, like, a much wider, like, toe area. But, I mean, once again, I'm sure you're seeing me in a cutaway with them on. I just love them. I know they're going to go with everything. And all the pieces I picked up from Farfetch, well, to be honest, all the pieces I pick up from them usually, anyway, are always pieces that I want to be able to wear over and over again. And, like, really timeless pieces in my wardrobe. But as I've already said to you guys, that's something I'm being really hot on right now. We're into the timeless wardrobe pieces. So that was everything I got from Farfetch, but do not forget guys, I have that discount code, so I'll leave it down below, and I'll also leave links to everything i just shown you, and everything I'm about to show you as well. So, am I, can you see all this rubbish in the background? You kind of can, can't you? I thought I was being really discreet there, and kind of like kicking all my rubbish to one side, but you can still see it, can't you? Anyway, where should we start next? Should we do weekday? Let's do weekday. So, yesterday I went shopping. I went shopping yesterday evening. Oh, I've just got makeup on that. God's sake. Anything white, why does it just get makeup on it straight away? It drives me insane. So what I picked up from weekday, I just picked up this white crew neck jumper, basically because I wanted it to go with this bomber jacket. So I saw this bomber jacket once again on Instagram. Um, I can't remember who I saw it on. I think I just saw it on the Explore page. And I love a bomber jacket. I actually have... So I have a couple but they're just too big for me over like the last year or so i don't know what like i just think i don't really speak about this but I, i've just got a little bit smaller <laughs> and things that used to just be like okay oversized on me i have now they're just too big for me even though this jacket that i bought yesterday is really oversized it's not stupidly oversized like the other bomber jackets i currently have so the other jackets are going to be sold so keep your eye on my default um but this is what i picked up from weekday it is actually it's not kind of showing true to color on camera but it's actually a really gorgeous khaki color the inside i don't really love because it's like fluorescent orange but I mean, we can deal with that. I love like the pocket detailing on the sleeve and that's why I picked up the crew neck jumper as well to kind of wear with it. But I thought this outfit was like either like a pair of leather trousers or a pair of mum jeans. You could wear trainers. I mean, you could dress it up, you could dress it down. I just think would look really, really cool. And um, it's definitely something that I like living in spring when I'm just kind of just wanting to look cool but casual that's kind of my vibe i actually haven't shopped at weekday in such a long time as well like to be honest i haven't actually like been buying that much just recently like i don't know i feel like at the beginning of autumn winter i go crazy and then when it's in the middle of any season i just kind of get bored and i felt like that's how i felt the last few weeks um but now i'm so buzzing for spring so then the next thing i picked up i went to mango this is a piece as well that i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna keep it not because I don't like it, but because I already have two brown coats, very similar, like very similar. However, they're all slightly different tones of beige or like brown. And the thing is with me with brown coats is I actually live in them. Like I wear them all of the time. And I actually wore, you know that grey Anine Bing hoodie that I just showed you, this one here? I actually wore um, that out with a brown coat when I went for lunch the other day and it looked really cool. So I picked this up from Mango and it's actually like, once again, I'm sure you're seeing me, it's got these like big sort of lapel collars, would you call it that? Is the lapel? Would you call this a lapel? Would you call it a collar? I'm unsure, but it's got these kind of like flaps. <laughs> that was even a worse like um description it kind of like flaps over your shoulder like this but i kind of love how the coat hangs i love how it looks and i just think it's such a vibe but it was 179 pounds and i was just like you have two brown coats and i just don't know if it's like worth it but i do think it's different to my other brown coats and i do think i will wear it so yeah this is another item i really want you guys to tell me should i keep it is it worth me keeping it does it look cool it's very long on me as well just for reference if you don't already know i'm five foot three just in case you're like wanting to know for reference of how any of these clothes like fit me that was the only thing i picked up from mango i thought it was a little bit disappointing in there you know like there wasn't much else in there i loved um and then the last one we have is oh no we don't sorry 
we have more so i also nipped into i don't want to get this other white top dirty so i'm just going to like rub my hands on my leg for a minute um i nipped into cos another shop i adore i love the quality of their pieces i love the fabrics they use like i just i just love cos basically and i picked up this black cashmere jumper it was kind of pricey can't lie it was a hundred and 35 pounds i was i did actually get 10 percent off though when i went to the till but still it was still a lot of money but like i said with my new kind of like wardrobe revamp i really want to be investing in good quality pieces that are made well and things that are going to last in my wardrobe and cashmere's and things like that i really feel like i like worth the investment so i picked this up because i love that whole look where you wear it with a pair of jeans and like my rick owens or a pair of converse and then underneath like a white t-shirt so I also picked this white t-shirt up from COS. And then obviously as well, you can wear like a brown coat. I love that whole look. I I mean, for me, it's one of my favourite looks ever. Um, and it's really comfy and I just love all the colours together. So yeah, that's what I picked up from COS. Although I haven't told you the prices. Oh yeah, I did tell you the price of the mango coat. Oh, I'll link everything so you have like the prices of... I did even tell you the price of the cashmere jumper. What am I on about? Um, and then what I picked up from Zara... It's kind of a lot, like, I went a bit crazy. First up, actually, I got this jumper that I'm wearing from them. Um, it's actually kind of, like, keeps swinging back slightly, which is a bit annoying. But I really love how this looks. It's got this big collar on it. It's got buttons up the side here. Stripey, um, black and white. I mean, you guys can see that. But it's actually just, yeah, really nice. And I'm obviously keeping it because I'm wearing it. <laughs> um, but the other pieces I picked up from them was another jumper which i believe i showed you in my last vlog maybe i think so um because i just think such nice like spring vibes once again pair of like blue denim jeans or even a pair of white jeans would look really nice with this my white chanel bag um like i'm trying to think what else you could wear with it just like a cute little pair of trainers converse white ones to like go with the jumper and it's just really really like lovely quality and fit um, and I picked it up in a size small and it was $29.99. So that was the first thing. And then I picked up two crop blazers. I don't really overly know why I picked up two, but they're very different. So here we are. And I also love how like crop blazers look with jeans and stuff. So the first one I picked up is size medium, $49.99. And if I get a little bit closer, you'll be able to see it's like this check print to it and um it just fits really nicely and i just think it looks really cool on and once again like a really good transitional piece and there's absolutely no doubt in anyone's mind how much i do love a blazer so yeah i just couldn't help myself it's got these gorgeous tortoiseshell buttons i would say if you're in between sizes get your regular size because i'd say the medium is a little bit big on me and then the next um blazer i picked up was this one so this one's more like I want to say it's chocolate brown, but it's almost a little bit of a purpley colour on camera. Like, I feel like in real life it's definitely, if I hold it back here, oh, I dropped it. I feel like it's, it's so strange because it's almost like greys into browns. But this I picked up in a size small. It's once again $49.99. And I just have like visions of me wearing this with a pair of black leather trousers and like a white bodysuit or something. But yeah, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the check one or do you prefer this one? You'll like have to let me know because maybe I shouldn't keep both. And then the last few pieces I picked up were, actually there was a skirt, this black skirt, I'm sending that, I'm taking that back because it doesn't do me any favors at all. I also picked up um, this just like plain black top just because I find these pieces just so um, easy in my wardrobe. And the size medium is $22.99. It's like this really lovely rib material. It's super stretchy and it's got this V-neck on it. They actually did it in so many different colors. Um, but I know I'll wear this so much just, you know, like underneath like a blazer or underneath a coat. Um, and they're just really, really handy to have in your wardrobe. I think I might actually get like a few more of them because they feel so good too. And then the last thing I picked up brings us on to like what I'm doing this evening. Because I have an event to go to tonight. And the event is with Colour Wow. And it's actually with Kim Kardashian's hairdresser. Like how wild is that? And so I just felt like I needed kind of like a new outfit to wear. So I kind of have this vision in my head. I haven't even really tried it on properly. But I want to wear a black like really short skirt. My um, Genvita Rossi heels that I got from Farfetch a little while ago. Like a black t-shirt and a black blazer over the top. You know me, I love an all black look. 
and we're going sexy fish in London so it's like kind of classy like a little bit dressy and it's a Thursday and often in London like Thursdays are like a fun night so I picked up this skirt so I actually picked it up in a small and I picked it up in a medium and I have to say the sizing is a joke it's so so small like it's ridiculous so the medium is the one that I think I'm going to keep um and I'll show you it on in a little while when I get like dressed up for tonight and hopefully the whole outfit pulls off but just to let you know price wise it was 25 99 and I'm hoping it all looks good because honestly I have no other outfit option if it doesn't. Well I hope you enjoyed that haul. Today is actually a whole different day to the day you've just seen and I said I was going to make this video into a vlog and then I started editing it and I realised that the whole unboxing was like 20 minutes long and so what I've decided to do is actually split this video into two. So today you've had a big unboxing and try on haul and then in the next video it will be a continuation of the vlog. So sorry about that if any of you were excited for a vlog but I promise you it will be coming next week. But I just want to say a massive thank you so much for watching this video and I will hopefully see you guys in my next one. Have a good week in the meantime and take care. Bye bye!